New Marvelous and Revolutionary Discoveries About Photon B. 11. Structure of Proton 12. Structure of Neutron 13. A new explanation for different forms of energy in terms of photon bases 14. Nuclear Force 15. A new calculation for the structure and nature of the magnetic force in terms of photons 16. A new calculation for the structure and nature of the gravitational force in terms of photons 17. Neutrino or chained photons of gravity 18. The theory of everything 19. Photon or the same new atom 20. Proving the existence of a speed faster than light in several ways Eleven, structure of proton. Physicists consider a continuous texture for the proton. Therefore, their structure must be a dense, compact globe filled up of photons with a radius three times smaller than that of an electron. But it is not the only point. The structure of a proton is similar to a cherry with two layers: the core and the mantle. The core. This region is almost spherical and its radius is about one-third of the entire proton's radius, but its density is about 15 times more than the mantle. The mantle. This area is a bronze layer which includes about two-thirds of the total radius and completely encircles the core by a much lower density than it. Twelve, Structure of Newton Newton is a sphere with a proton core, electron shell, and an empty space about twice as much as the proton's radius. By this identification, we could easily explain a lot of problems in physics like decay, strong interaction, weak interaction, etc. Thirteen, A new explanation for different forms of energy in terms of photon bases. If we consider a solar system like our system and look at the relation between the Sun and the Earth, we see that the Earth always revolves around the Sun in a closed circular path. Due to this stable structure, the following relations can be considered. The kinetic energy equals energy of gravitational wave or gravitational flux energy. Given that visible light is actually the same as radiant energy, we can write the following relationship with electromagnetic waves. So, radiant energy equals electromagnetic energy. As the formula E of N equals mc2 is valid in nuclear explosions and it means the total mass converts to photon particles, therefore we can assume that nuclear and radiation energy of photons is equal. So, nuclear energy equals radiation energy, where n is the number of photons in an object with mass m. In fact, in light bulbs, electrical energy is converted into radiant energy. So, radiant energy equals electrical energy, where N is the number of photons emitted from the lamp. Due to the fact that in transformers, magnetic energy is always converted into electrical energy, so electrical energy equals magnetic energy. Therefore, it can be said that all energies are equal, equivalent, and identical. So, we can write the following comprehensive relation, which we named Saleh Comprehensive Equation of Theory of Everything or the Equation of the Primary Energy Charts since Big Bang till now. Fourteen, Nuclear Force According to what has already been said about the structure of the nucleus, 
The nucleus is composed of neutrons and protons that are arranged in a special way next to each other by the Coulomb force. In fact, the nuclear force between protons is because of the Coulomb force between the electron shell of neutrons and protons of the nucleus, and these neutrons and protons themselves are also composed of photons. Fifteen. A new calculation for the structure and nature of the magnetic force in terms of photons. Based on the results of the recent experiment, Salih experiment involving a usual magnet, where the magnetic energy of the magnet and its frequency were measured. It can be stated that magnetic flux lines are chain photons that flow from the North Pole to the South Pole. In other words, the magnetic flux is as the photon ropes interwoven and entangled with each other. 16. A new calculation for the structure and nature of the gravitational force in terms of photons. Considering the calculation of the frequency of gravity for planets in our solar system by the equivalent of the kinetic energy of each planet and each new, it can be said that gravitational fluxes are essentially made of chained photons like magnetic flux but with different ranges of frequency. In other words, gravitational fluxes are indeed high-frequency magnetic fluxes. 17. Neutrino or chained photons of gravity Gravitational fluxes are made of intertwined photons. The production and intertwining of photons to create this type of chain structure require high temperature and pressure, which is only possible in the core of stars. Therefore, gravitational fluxes are produced only by stars and can emit in all directions of the star. We should note that the production of photons in nature only occurs in the stars. Sometimes they become visible photons or radiant photons and sometimes intertwined photons or gravitational fluxes. 18. Gravitational fluxes are made of intertwined photons, so each component is a photon and has a very small rest mass. Gravitational fluxes are made of photons, so they have no electric charge. Gravitational fluxes are made of photons, so they travel at the speed of light. Gravitational fluxes react only with special alloys and pass through the rest of the materials without any reaction. Gravitational fluxes have no charge and are not affected by any magnetic fields. Gravitational fluxes, like a belt, enter a planet on one side and exit on the opposite side, keeping the planet stable and steady in its own orbit. Gravitational fluxes are made of intertwined photons and according to the calculations, about 10 to the power of 14 numbers of them pass in a square centimeter per second. Gravitational fluxes pass through the planets, so to detect them, we have to place detectors in the deep underground. Gravitational fluxes can only be detected with particular alloys and are difficult to achieve. Considering the above characteristics and comparing the neutrino features with the features of gravitational waves mentioned in the topic of gravitational waves, we can say neutrino is the same as gravity and gravity is the same as neutrino. 18. The theory of everything most of physicists believe that we will reach a fantastic point in the history of science, a single theory that will unite all of our science under one mathematical equation. Now, it is time for its present. All particles are made of photon. Photon has 11 degrees of freedom. All forces have the basis in photons. All kinds of energy have the basis of photon. 
Therefore, the angel photon is the string that connects all forces, energies, and masses together. Nineteen, photon or the same new atom. From the atom to the sky, we see an identical structure in that every mass is rotating around a central axis, a structure similar to that of the atom which has a nucleus and electrons rotating around. Like the atom, the photon also has a central part around which particles are rotating, and indeed, the photon is a small atom with a similar constitution. The photon has a central part around which the rotating particles move in an irregular manner. The central part is called citone, and the particles around are the sole particles. 20. Proving the existence of a speed faster than light in several ways. In existence of the speed faster than light is a hypothesis made almost 100 years ago and so far, there has never been a definitive phenomenon provided to prove it. When Einstein expressed his theory of relativity, this was his important point that there was an ultimate cosmic speed limit and that only massless particles could ever reach it. But scientists have always looked for particles that move faster than light because proof of the existence of a speed faster than light will cause a great change in the future of physics. We have presented 10 great and logical reasons for the possibility of speeds faster than of light. We have used Hubble's law, blue shift, red shift data from the Hubble Space Telescope, etc. to prove that.